Hello, welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie. Today we are going thrifting in Woodbury, Minnesota. We went to Goodwill and Hobby Lobby and I will be tagging that on the end of the Goodwill shopping trip. Now, I had my daughter Alexandra with me, so we had some fun today whooping it, whooping it up, and um, I found some good, good stuff at Goodwill, and I can't believe <laughs> what I left behind. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. If you like these videos, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. You can even hit the bell notification and it will tell you every time I upload new videos. Now, let's go thrifting. Hi guys, we are at Goodwill. I have my daughter Allie with me. She drove, She's got. she got herself a brand new Malibu. It's really nice. Um, but we're gonna go in and we're gonna go thrifting and we're gonna bring you along with us today. So let's go thrifting. I decided to start with the case today and there were a lot of designer handbags and shoes. Um, some of them with the price tag still on them. Um, so that was a fun find. This basket was actually plastic and I thought it would look so pretty on a porch uh, for 4th of July decor. This set of candle sconces were very familiar to me. They remind me of home interiors from back in the 80s. I think my mom had them. And I just found a set of four Buffalo China uh, bowls. Aren't they cute? And they're green. And there was a plethora of ironstone at the Goodwill today. I couldn't believe it. Oh my goodness. I thought maybe this little personal teapot was a restaurant wear piece, but it wasn't. I was a little bummed about that, but <laughs> it was cute anyway. And here is another heritage piece. I currently already have two of these, so I did leave it behind, but it's always fun to find them. And look, the matching sugar bowl to the creamer I just found. How lucky is that? This pig is so cute. I thought it would look so adorable in someone's farmhouse decor. Um, not mine. I don't know what that maker is. Do you know what that little maker is? And I have been finding the cutest, this has a big chip on it, do you see that? Milk glass bowls the past few weeks. Adorable. Oh my goodness, a huge 
Redcliffe Ironstone Tureen. All four pieces, underplate, everything. You better believe it went in my cart. I loved the texture and style of this frame, but I thought it would be so much prettier in gold or um, painted white in distress. I think it would really highlight that uh, beautiful rose pattern. And this beautiful set of four uh, botanical framed pictures made me wish I had more wall space because man, I would have brought them home with me. Look at the frames on them even. They're so pretty. And this funky lamp was so cool. I am really bad at picking a decade. Is this the 60s or the 70s? I'm unsure. Goodwill had a lot of beautiful furniture pieces. I always love finding these old school desks. Anybody else, I wish I had a place for one because I would totally buy one up. This end table is gorgeous, Queen Anne style, very country. This, I was trying to see if this was a real wood. The molding on it was, but I believe the very tippy tap and the, and the shelves were laminate. But so many beautiful wood pieces today. Gorgeous armoire over there and some wait till you see the farmhouse chairs that I found. Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. But look, treasure. <laughs> this chest is phenomenal. I love this thing so much. Um, it's not very functional. If it had, it didn't have the dome top, it would be a little more functional. But the dome top is what gives it the character, right? So yeah, I love that chest. And these are the chairs I was talking about. Aren't they beautiful? I cannot believe I'm putting it back on my shelf. I couldn't decide if I wanted it or not. Ugh, I put it back. What was I thinking? <laughs> she just went for a car wash. <laughs> we were at the Goodwill that was next to the Hobby Lobby. You know, the one that I'm trying to get practice on, but now Ellie was getting practice because she, we, I just let her drive. So we're gonna go into Hobby Lobby now and take you guys with us. There was a lot of pretty sage green organizers and they were only $3.99 for one and they were 40% off. I did not think that was a bad deal and you could get them in the sets as well. Um, I didn't really look at those, but. Here are those scrubbies that I've been looking for. I did pick up one of these. You'll see it in the haul in a minute, but they were also 40% off and they were originally $3.99. I thought this apron was perfect for summer. Oh, so pretty.
I loved those baskets hanging on the wall. I had to make sure I pointed them out to you. <laughs> and here's some more Sage Kitchen tools. Um, I didn't get any of these, but I thought they were really, really pretty and useful, of course. I was intrigued by the wooden uh, measuring spoons, but I don't need them. I have several sets of brass measuring spoons that I love, but I was thinking about getting these for Odin's dog food and for the cat food, um, and even the smaller ones for my canisters, but I ended up not picking up any of those as well. Maybe next time, I'm kind of regretting it. I wonder if the spring stuff is gonna go on clearance soon. <laughs> it's still spring, right? Maybe not for a little bit, but I could maybe check on it. I have been looking for a new mat for by my kitchen sink. I didn't end up bringing this one home, but it is definitely on my mind to check on again later. So that was fun. I've got a bag full of goodies here. Stick around and I will show you what I got when I get home. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me here. I have some good stuff to share with you. I'm really excited about it. You guys have been telling me, I'm hearing you loud and clear, you like this format. So I'm going to stick with it for a little while and see how it goes. I'm, um, the algorithm is not giving me too much information at the moment so we will see how it goes um, but I am going to stick with it for a little bit longer just to see it's a little harder for me to um, you know do the sit down portion of the video so this is why you see me I'll do a couple at a, at a time because it does take a little bit more time to you know set up the lighting and the camera and get everything going and organize and all that jazz so I uh, filming the haul portion a couple at a time. So, and I think that's how it's going to work for me. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I got some good stuff. What did you think about that terrain? Would you have brought it home? It was massive. It was literally like this big. And I don't know what in the dickens you would put in that thing back in the day, maybe like if you're feeding like an army some soup or something, <laughs> I don't know. But it was huge and it was so heavy. I had to have my daughter record me putting it back up on the shelf because I was so afraid. There's no, well, pers there was no way I would have been able to do it one-handed, no way. But I needed to clear a spot for it because somebody had already put stuff in its spot and all that jazz, but. That was a lot of fun finding it. I was so excited and I did put it in my cart and drive it around Goodwill for a little while. And uh, yeah, I can't believe I didn't get it. Um, I couldn't think of what I would do with it or where I would store it. And then I was like, well, I could get it and just display it on top of my cabinets. But then I was like, do I really wanna get something just to display it? And I was like, eh, probably not. So I put it back for somebody else to enjoy or collect or sell. So, because it was $9.99 and with a coupon, it would have been $7.50, right? So that's an amazing price. You probably could have made like 80 bucks on it. So that was Red Cliff Pottery, by the way. So um, really, really nice soup terrain. But what I did find, I did find more ironstone. I was so excited. I found this little guy. He was $2.99, so I paid $2.25 for him. Ah, look at that. I love him so, so much. Isn't he adorable? He's got like this, almost like this little hobnail on the edge right here, and it will go with my um, heritage 
so well. It was $2.99, green tag. I don't know. You know what, you guys? I did not get 25% off this. I got 20% off um, because every, it was um, every Goodwill, every Minnesota Easter Seals Goodwill was having 20% off that day. Every color tag except for black and white. And those are the ones that never go on sale, you know? They'll just re-tag them. But I can't get the sticker off right now. It just says it's stamped, made in English. Made in English. <laughs> Oh my God, I cannot get through a video without misspeaking. Made in England, okay. <laughs> and then I found this little guy, the matching sugar. It was also $2.99. Um, and it doesn't look like there's a, a, anything else under there actually. It just says made in England and I don't know, it's like right around here. Um, so I don't know that you'll be able to see it. But these guys, they're dirty and dusty and kind of greasy. But other than that, they're in such good shape. There's like, there isn't even any creasing or chipping or cracking anywhere that I can see. Um, not that I mind because I actually kind of like the character in the Iron Stone. I think that's part of what draws it to, um, um, draws me to it. But uh, I do love this. It's like in pristine condition. And then <laughs> I found some Buffalo China. And guess what color it is? Green! I found a stack of four of them and they look like this. Oh my gosh, they're just this perfect little, like if you wanna have, I don't know, what would you put in here? Like a little bit of chips, caramel corn. <laughs> <laughs> this would be good for caramel corn for me because to limit my consumption. <gasps> I love when you mix cheddar popcorn with caramel corn. Oh my gosh, it's the best. And they just look like this. When, isn't that, oh my gosh, it's just going to be so beautiful. I love it. Um, with the green stripes on it. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. And they were 99 cents a piece, so I paid 80 cents for them. Love these guys, so. And hopefully my kids won't be able to break these things, right? Okay, perfect little ice cream bowl for me as well. Then I found two pillowcases. One is vintage, one I'm not so sure about, but wait till you see them together. Let's see, were they, this one was pink tag, $1.99, and it looks like this. I'm going to bring it in closer so you can see the pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? Just the light pink roses on there with some baby blue. I love it. It was $1.99 pink tag. Did I say that? I think I did. And then I found this one. I'm gonna see if it has a label on the inside. Uh, it does, it's Martha Stewart. Um, so that would not be vintage. But of course, that's why I'm attracted to it. Martha Stewart does some good stuff, man. But it looks like this. And it's just blue and white gingham all the way around. <laughs> Wait till you see them together. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to start like making pillow covers out of all my pillowcases just so that I can, you know, like make coordinating sets, even though they don't match or go or originally go, but they would look so pretty together, right? But I do need to find a way to brighten up this white pillowcasing. It's looking a little dingy, like not, not dirty, but like just grayed out a little bit, you know? So I'm gonna try and find a way to do that. See, I have OxyClean will do it, but I think there's something else I can try, but I'm not sure. On the way there, we always stop um, when I go with Alexandra to Target on the way so she can get a Starbucks. <laughs> and I was looking, browsing through the dollar section, which I don't hardly ever buy anything from the dollar section unless it's useful. Uh, but they did have this one thing this one time and it was $3. So, but when I rang it up, it rang up as $1.50. So I don't know if this is from, you know, prior... Uh, releases but it looks like this it's just the peel and stick wallpaper and I thought that would be an excellent craft supply 
um, or I could even, you know, decorate with it if I want to on, you know, a small area. Um, they did only have one roll of it and I did only pay $1.50 for it. So I think that was a really good deal. All right. Then while we were at Hobby Lobby, I bought three things. <laughs> when I went thrift shopping, okay, so let's back up even further. When I went to this Goodwill um, last time and I went to Hobby Lobby, they had the little dish scrubbing brushes uh, that were, they had the blue on them and I didn't want the blue because it was like a baby blue. I'm more into that chambray denim or navy blue, uh, those kinds of tones. So I didn't grab one, but I have been looking for one of these. Um, I would was preferring it in like white or sage. Well, this time I went and they had them in sage and they were half off originally $4. So I paid $2 for it. Oh wait, were they 40%? They might've been 40%. Uh, anyway, but when I went thrifting with Robin and Nicole, um, back in March, they had these in their antique booth selling them for $4. So <laughs> I was like, well, that was from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> you guys thought it was funny that they called them out on it. I didn't really feel like I was calling them out on them. I just noticed that, but, um, cause it was a very farmhouse-ish booth. So I thought that was really pretty and that's gonna look really pretty in my kitchen. Then I, the reason why I went to Hobby Lobby is for some pretty paper and I found some, I think it is gorgeous. I bought three sheets of it and it looks like this. Isn't that pretty? I wanted a floral um, paper that was either like watercolor, but I didn't want that like trendy poppy floral paper, like what you would see in like scrapbooking designs or whatever, although this is scrapbooking paper. Uh, you know what I mean? They you see like deer fe and f feathers and and that kind of thing with it. I like the more of the vintage style, and I absolutely adore these colors. I think they will look so perfect in my craft room. Although it's looking really, it's it's been raining here for days, <laughs> for days, and it is so dark. So I've got all my lids on, trying to <laughs> get some light in here. Okay. And then they also had their florals on sale for 50% off. So I paid $3.50 for each stem and I got five stems and they are all these gorgeous white ranunculas. Aren't they beautiful? And they're quite long. So I got five at $3.50. So, you know, a little over $15 and oh my gosh, I think they are so beautiful. So when it's time to put away my tulips, um, I'll have some ranunculus to replace them with and oh my gosh, I just love them. I've seen like real life <laughs> ranunculus with like the beautiful, they look like a sunset and they're just gorgeous. Um, I don't know where ranunculus grow. Will they grow in, in, um, zone four? I don't know. That's where I am. I'm in zone four. So, uh, but if I could, I would, I would plant them maybe at my next my next home right or maybe i'll plant them here too i don't know but that is what i got at goodwill this week and as well as hobby lobby and no target that one thing from target but <laughs> if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and um stay tuned for future thrifting videos on my channel once every month i do flipping friday that is an open collab that um i host on the third Friday of every month at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time where we make over an item um, and show it on our channel, do the tutorial on our channel. And it, the item can be something thrifted, something you previously owned, something that somebody else previously owned, anything secondhand, just give it some love and that's what we do and we upload them. And then I, I make a, a playlist beforehand so all the videos are populated in the playlist before the collab goes live and it works so beautifully so I've, nobody has the fear of like missing out and being late so anyway that's this is my little spiel about flipping friday <laughs> thanks guys bye